Hey there folks, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas, Old World Blues. On the Series CG, we're talking to Dr. Mobius. He programmed his own uh, scientist friends into a recursive loop. Not sure exactly when the procedures to suck everyone's brains out and put them in these, uh, these flying around monitor body things were exactly how that came about. But Dr. Mobius appears to have programmed his friends into a recursive loop to keep them trapped in the big MT forever and avoid letting them get out into the larger world. Not clear if he knows exactly what happened with the war. That hasn't really come up. But um, he appears to have gone nuts just from being alone for a long time and, you know, having various issues pop up. But he also seems to, like, <laughs> I don't know, he seems to be the nicest guy out of the uh, group. Certainly compared to frickin' Boros. I mean, as amusing as Boros is, he, like, tortured his own dog. It's kind of weird. So if I don't get my brain back in my head, I can't leave ever. So if your threat's on a loop... So you set your threat's on a loop to keep them occupied. Do you know anything about the other visitors? Klein said they had the idea to get the three technologies after your broadcast. Coincidence? I consider coincidence to be profanity, along with the words astrology herbal tea, and luck. So watch it, potty mouth. I like that. My threat broadcast is designed to instill and install fear. And along with the emotional download, other data rides the fear carrier wave. It prompted them to focus on retrieving those technologies and bring them to attack me. And coincidentally, Pardon my language. All those technologies are needed to put <laughs> Pardon my brain, language. Uh, your brain back into its skull properly. Oh, he's trying to help us. What's the purpose of the technologies? Was there any other data transmitting your threat broadcast? But the think tank downloaded the schematics, not the items. They can rebuild them. Oh, that means my plan is a total failure. That is unfortunate. Oh, well, at least I tried. What is the purpose of the technologies? The X2 antenna can be used to focus your alpha wave frequency thought patterns. The sneaky suit? Why, it houses a cardiac regulator. And the sonic sound wave projecto emitter was never intended as a weapon. It was a medicinal vertebrae pulse desensitizer. In short, brains, a heart, and courage. Spine. Oh, the Wizard of Oz. I think there was a story once where a band of murderous thugs sought these things. They had them. Don't all call me a murderous thug. Put them up. Put them up. Didn't stop them from murdering to get them. Sure. And it won't stop the think tank either. They will murder everyone. I think that's actually kind of where he's going. So any other uh, data in your threat broadcast? Yes. My overly aggressive Camda broadcast was designed to keep reinforcing the forget, fear, rinse, and repeat program. Oh, and the get me the things to castrate your only possible escape attempt. <laughs> but I couldn't delete you or your arrival any more than I could the other visitors. Only so much science can do when Oh, so I wrecked it by talking to them. them. Oh, man, my you're are really quiet me. difficult to ignore, you know. It's because you're, well... Human. Bah, rather intriguing, if you'll forgive an old brain for saying so. I forgive you. I was curious about some things. Yes, yes, this is getting interesting. You are just filled with these little slices of curiosity, aren't you? I don't want to kill him. What the... Why'd you steal my brain? Oh, a variety of raisins. Yes, if I'm looking for more brain. stuff we didn't... I want my brain so I can leave. Now, that seems to be rather hormonal of you. Flight or fight response, you know. Hard to cut that out completely. Your brain is here, safe with me. We chat over mentats. I need my brain back. Do you? You seem fine without it. 
And does it even want to go back with you? Maybe you should ask it. It's quite independent, has all manner of opinions. Can't Tell find a dialogue what, path. To I'll leave it up to your brain. Okay. If it wants to go, then fine. If not, well, you should respect its wishes. I'm desperately trying to find a dialogue path, yes, that will allow me to stop talking to him without trying to kill him. Indeed. The uh, goodbye part of our little chat, then. Uh, goodbye. Uh, please mind the equations on the floor. Yeah, like, I can go in and talk to him and say I want to kill him, but it was bugging me that I didn't seem to be able to find a way to end the dialogue any other way. I'm having the most peculiar feeling of deja vu right now. That's French for, uh, well, uh, deja vu, I believe. Have we met before? Enough, I'm here to kill you. Oh, intriguing. I've never been killed before. Although, after that time I got that phlegmy discharge in my biogel, <laughs> I wished I had been. Well, if there's going to be killing, I defer to your expertise in this matter. How should we begin? Engineering viruses? Cancerotic beams? Atomics? Electrocutioning? Or should I summon my minions? Yes, my minions. You're trashing like I did your giant piece of junk downstairs. Oh, now you've done it. I feel a twinge of regret over that little mistake I left on. Minions, destroy this intruder! Hmm. Or perhaps make it more dramatic. Minions! To me! <laughs> oh yes, that's quite a bit better. Okay, so we can like cloak. I mean, I know I want to go with the path of not killing them, but I figure we'll check this this out anyway. Did battle is what you desire? So be it. Now his minions are here, all right. So I killed him. I kind of want to search the corpse and then be done. Like, I don't... Do I really want to go through just... Even though I know I'm going to load killing a bunch of robo-scorpions? Not really. But I'm curious enough about what is... Yeah, damn it. All right, forget it. Let's uh, load... Uh... I'm sure that if I popped a bunch of stim packs, I could have fought off Robo Scorpions. He saw I was able to kill him. I was kind of curious what he carried his loot, but I could pickpocket him. I'm having them. I guess I can't pickpocket him. All right. So what's my quest telling me to do now? Oh, he's been writing. He has been writing equations all over the floor. That's a little weird. Retrieve your brain from the Forbidden Zone. Okay, well, I confronted him, and now I have to retrieve my brain. And it would appear to be up at the top of the steps, probably in this machine right here. Well, well, look who finally <laughs> dragged themselves in out of the wasteland. And where have we been, hmm? Crawling through bits of radioactive muck again? Are you my brain? Ah, lovely. Figure that out, have we? Would you like a cookie? Why are you such a dick? There's no need to be sarcastic. Meeting your own brain is a slightly odd event. Yes, well, believe me, the opposite is equally true. Good lord, have you bathed at all since they pulled me out of you? Yes, because running around a crater full of bizarre science experiments, hygiene, Hygiene is a top priority. <laughs> you aren't like springtime fresh. I love how you're now sassing your own brain. Didn't mean to shout, sorry. Well, 
I see sarcasm hasn't eluded you. Fine, perhaps now isn't the best time, but it's the principle of the thing. Why are you such a dick? Well, that's a fine how do you do. Me, a, quote, dick, unquote. As if I'm the one responsible for the way you carry on gadding about the waste. <laughs> gadding about. I'm not the one that makes us clamber around technus infested ancient vaults or go charging off to New Vegas on missions of ill conceived revenge. And have we forgotten who got us shot in the head and buried in a shallow grave? Hmm? Do you think I enjoyed that little moment? Of course you're responsible. You're my brain. I most certainly am not. I am the seat of all reason and logic in our little partnership. All those feelings that motivate you, that sense of righteousness and that rush you get when you help someone, do you know where those come from? You balls. Glands. They come from glands. Free of the tyranny of your ape-like and primitive endocrine system. I can see how foolish your motives are. Maybe I need to be nicer to my brain. But you're the source of most of those glands, unless you're arguing that my thyroid is to blame. I... Well... Look, it's all a very complex system of biofeedback and other things I wouldn't expect you to understand. Admit it, you're just as glandular as I am. Oh, come on, stuff's fun. Oh, alright. Perhaps I am, but at least I'm logical about it. Don't you want to be reunited? I thought you'd be happy to get back into my head. I'm not going to lie to you. The prospect is definitely not that appealing. Look at it from my perspective. Here I have peace, quiet, and safety. Well, barring the odd rogue scorpion. In your head, I've got poison, radiation, grisly injuries, and biological functions. Do you know how much more you can get done when you're not constantly looking for places to urinate? It's quite <laughs> a lot, I can tell you. Well, how many places do you need to find to urinate? What about the good things? What about a cool breeze on your cheek? The smell of food? Love? I can see your point. What can I do to make this a fair compromise? Too bad, I've got arms you don't. You're coming with me. <laughs> Overrated biological feedback. Believe me, you only feel that way because you've got all that meat oozing hormones. Isn't it just as true that you only feel this way because you're lacking those hormones? Hmm, I suppose you're right. That does call certain assumptions into question, doesn't it? Damn right, bitch. So we're at an impasse. You can feel what I can feel, and I can't... You can't feel what I feel, and I can't think the way you think. Yeah, I bet you didn't think of that, huh? <laughs> yes, yes, all right, bravo. You've come up with something I neglected to consider. There'll be no living with you now. So... What do we do about this? We could touch each other to acknowledge that we aren't complete if we're separated. Well, maybe we could keep going like this. What do you think? I don't know. I have to think about this some more. I... I'm curious about the different outcomes of this, but I don't want to sit through this conversation a dozen times. So let's just get it on with it. Let's get together. I suppose there might be some advantage to that, yes. There's a chance that the reintegration would create some improved synergy. We'd get a new us. perk or some crap. So what do you say, brain? Join me for some more wild adventures. Maybe I have been a little unfair. I want you to... If you want to stay here, I'll let you. How the hell did Mobius get a hold of my brain? We keep coming back After to After the think tank extracted me from your skull, they fell to bickering amongst themselves. I'm sad to say we were quite forgotten about. Dr. Mobius saw an opportunity to gain some leverage and had me spirited away to his dome. How do you manage that? I don't know. I'm afraid the trauma of our separation rendered me quite insensate. I didn't come around until I was safely ensconced in this tank. Ensconced? I'm quite sure whatever he did was highly scientific, though. Seems like a pretty unlikely coincidence. Hardly. Dr. Mobius keeps a close optical sensor on the goings-on at the think tank. As soon as he saw the opportunity, he took it. Well, the answer's that. Well, as long as your curiosity is satisfied. I suppose you've convinced me well enough. I'll rejoin your body if that's your final decision. Unfortunately, before we get to that stage of the proceedings, we have a problem. And another four fetch quest. Even if I could settle myself back in your skull and reconnect all those pesky nerve endings, Dr. Mobius doesn't have the tools here. 
We would have to make use of Dr. Klein's lab, and I rather doubt the brains are inclined to share. Why they promised to put us back together once they did what they wanted. Yeah, I... Well, I have my brain in my head as I read this, which uh, my player character doesn't, but I would be not that trusting of them. And you believe them? Really? I know you were recently deprived of my fabulous advice, but... Really? Once I'm delivered into their clutches, they'll find a way past the radar fence and the whole Mojave will be their playground. Mm. And that is assuming, of course, that one of them doesn't take a fancy to our body and decide to slip his own brain into it instead. So bad about letting the brains get out. They don't seem that terrible. You're part of me. I know you don't want to let that happen any more than I do. Well, I suppose I do miss those endorphin rushes when we save the day. All right. What's the plan? I'm kind of curious, though, as to what... If your brain explains to you what, what the bad thing is that will happen if you let them out. If the think tank won't hold up the bargain, we'll make them. Let's go. I'll handle the brains. Hmm. Right! Look out, think tank! This brain is coming out of its jar! I suppose now that we're reunited, you'll want to fill your torso up with those other meaty parts the think tank took from us. Mm-hmm. Personally, I think your upgrades are quite a bit better. But now that I'm with you, the Sinks Autodoc can plug them back in no problem. Right then, off we go. Clyde will be in for a nasty shock when he realizes the pacification field won't work on a mind and body reunited. Okay. So I want to save on a different slot, because I'm going to zip through that real quick. There, I, I want to at least just quick get the... Uh, I'll try to see different interesting variations, but... Uh, let's see what happens if we... We'll do one or two little different things, but mainly what I want to do is... Um, instead of taking that last intelligence check, just see... Yeah, whatever. Yeah, we're okay. Well, well. Ah. Oh, had I? What exactly will you do? Okay, I'm skipping past it a little bit. Once you back my head, I'll watch television and lots and lots of television. You. You wouldn't. That's inhuman. Well, the television isn't even around anymore. I would, and I'd follow it up with an alcohol and ant nectar cocktail every night. You're a monster. A deranged, self-destructive monster. Don't want to be reunited? I thought you'd be happy. Okay. We're going to make this if a fair compromise. First, shut that Julie Farkas woman, for example, she seems to know a thing or two. Third, you need to listen to me more than your hormonal choir and genitalia. <laughs> I should I skipped something I shouldn't have skipped there, but... And you've got a deal. He wants a regular shower. It's fine, you've got a deal. Really? Hm. I didn't expect... Well, if you like being stuck, maybe I'll just leave you. What is well, that stuff? Well, certainly there might be... Helios, but still, given the tremendous potentially. Uh... Indeed. We trust each other. Maybe you keep going on like this. What do you think? You mean I'll stay in my tank and you'll stay in your skin, and we'll each handle our own areas of expertise? Hm. I certainly like the sound of that. Maybe I'll let you stay here. It's not that I didn't like being in your head, you understand. As far as heads go, it was a rather nice one. Well then, I suppose this... Those will go back to Think Tank and get them to let me out. They promised to do that much. And you believe them? Re Once I'm delivered into their clutch... And okay, this is what I meant to see. What's so terrible about letting the brains get out? They don't seem that terrible. Don't seem so bad. 
They vivisected us just to see what would happen. Have you forgotten the lobotomites? The cyber dogs, I assume you saw those. Mm -hmm. Imagine that kind of science spread across the entire Mojave. Every man, woman, and child we've met reduced to a lobotomite. Is that what you want? Then let's go make them share. Oh, lovely. We've reached the mindless violence portion of the program. Tell me, what exactly are you, and I use the word loosely, planning? I'm going to give them a demonstration of the physics beyond blah blah blah. I'm going to show them what's really the brightest thing in the room. Ever had a squirrel brain omelet? <laughs> Brains have forgotten little things like sharp blades and heavy chunks of steel. Going the old fashioned route, are we? I rather like it. What's next? That arrangement suits me. Right then. You'd best be off, hadn't you? No, oh, don't worry about me. Okay, it seems like uh, regardless of what you do, you end up at the same position, which is that returning to the sink is uh, where you get to put the brain back in your head. And then you get dialogue with the... Well, I mean, the pacification field is shut off then, so that's interesting. Now, I could explore this place looking for loot. Oh, I see you and your brain reached a compromise. How pleasant. I hypothesize after the indignant frequencies my receptors had uh, recepted, such a partnership-based conclusion would be low on the likely scale. <laughs> my brain told me the think tank needs to be stopped. Can you help? Can I have a mentat? Why, of course you can. I am well versed in the science of sharing. <laughs> well, when not chemmed out of my sphere. Nice. If I recall, I had a plan that was working, or whatever it was. I don't think it reached fruition. I would recall fruit if it had happened. I wasn't trying to kill them, just keep them out of trouble. What was that plan? Blast. I probably uh, wrote it down on the floor somewhere. Any tactics I could use to attack the think tank? Well, I don't want to keep them out of trouble, I want to kill them. What was the plan you had? I don't believe... I, I, if it's not necessary to kill them, I mean, I guess they're, they are pretty evil. Something ingenious and needlessly complicated, I expect. I may have already told you and forgotten it. I forgot I had forgotten pencils until one day I found one. Spent days studying its purpose before my memory circuit kicked in. Felt quite silly. That will be difficult. It would be like fighting five scaled-down versions of me that have better depth perception. And they have an arsenal of vivisectors, brain eel beams, and a rather nasty <laughs> ray that can make your atoms do a happy dance. Not that happy. If you could survive those highly improbable odds and ends, then deceasing them is definitely an option. Although, I doubt killing them would do anything except make you feel better. Or let you brag to other humans about your primal violentness. I can do a stop them that doesn't require violence. Well, you could try and appeal to their humanity. <laughs> That's a tired cliché. And really, when they were humans, they weren't very good humans. Mm -hmm. I'd like to make the effort. Well, there's many things they have forgotten sitting in their bowls. Friendship, the thrill of discovery. <laughs> I read ahead. Love, masturbation, the usual. Much like your brain, I am certain there is something you can spark within each of them. Memories, hormones. You know, I sparked I A talked wise to most man of them. Once said, the eyes do more than see. Make them see, if you can. Or, if not, you can always make them succumb to fear. <laughs> it certainly worked for me, for a time.
Then you came along, and bravery and or desperation trumped that little idea. Back to the drawing board, I suppose. Or is this the end? Hard to tell. Sca had really, really liked to kill them. Scare them how? Oh, tell them I'm still alive. We had a nice chat, and we agree on a few things. That's true, isn't it? Or you could kill me and lie about it. Either way, it would be interesting. And if you are partial to lying and deception, well, you could tell them a ludicrous lie. The more over the top, the better. That's my experience. They're more than a little gullible. I'd better make it convincing, though. Or it'll be the dissection table and vivisectors for you. And if you speak of me, please try and make me look good. I am Dr. Mobius, after all. Not some lab assistant teacher's aide. Time for me to go. Goodbye. I like Dr. Mobius, certainly more than the uh, scientists who actually frickin' took my brain and stuff. So there are doors to other places. Uh, desks to be searched with cigarettes and whatnot. Is this worth the effort? I mean, searching these desks, JG? Seriously? I mean, there's drugs. Packs of cigarettes and drugs. There is a... There are scientist scrubs. There is a desk. I guess I just need to get out of here and... You know, actually there wasn't as much resistance. There was that... There was a sort of quasi-boss battle, but it was like a gimmick boss battle. Uh, he's got a lot of Mentats. He's got a lot of Mentats. And a toaster. Might as well take the toaster. It'll make one of our friends very happy. Let me guess, Mentats? No! But a coffee mug. That'll make another one of our friends happy, and that's the only reason I'm bothering to bring it. Because I picked up a toaster. So now I feel like I owe something to the other guy. Mentats are worth good money in this game. I'm going to agonize over stealing that one. So I feel a bit bad for Mobius. He uh, seems to have lost his mind a bit, but he's uh, he's the only one that recognizes that the others in the think tank have um, have gone crazier and are basically evil now. And uh, he's kind of like he's really truly alone. He's trying to stop them. They've got each other at least, uh, even if they're not really connecting on a personal level very well. <laughs> Well, at some point I have to, like, let go of looting all these places, but, uh, I'll at least enter the, all the major rooms. Electrons attached to the neutron. I went to a lot of trouble after all to get to the forbidden zone. Um, in case you're wondering, I, uh kind of found out, uh, without really meaning to, just from looking at some basic information in the wiki on the, um, oh, that ammo pushed me over the top. Mad? They're the ones who are mad? Uh, 
I got rid of it. Gotta get rid of five more units or whatever. I guess uh, another repair is in order. Did that do it? Not quite. Uh, some water and get rid of the Nuka Colas that I don't know why I picked up to begin with. And uh, dog steak. That room full of Mentats was worth looking into, so that's why I'm kind of continuing. Drained microfusion cells. I think they have slight weight. Um, filing cabinets are potentially interesting because they're actually organized, kind of. What weighs one pound uh, that I could just get rid of? Blank book. Bone saw. Alright, alright. I need to get on with it here. Um, got something I want to do before I turn in. Alrighty. Whoa, we didn't mean to do that. Shit. Oh, well. I'll just have to stop by the doctor on my way back uh, to get my limb damage taken care of, because after having this conversation with my brain about how I was going to take better care of things, I promptly jumped off of a ledge for no good reason. Well, you know, now that I'm looking at this place, uh kind of seems like they kind of led you towards a... Oh, one of these is locked, so that might be worth opening just for the experience. Right away is weightless, so that's perfect. And we're actually really close to being uh, leveled up. But yeah, you come in here, and uh, there's no way to go left. I mean, you can jump. But yeah, they kind of funnel you right into a room with a terminal, and when you access it, it starts giving you hints of the fact that you're not supposed to just plain old beat that thing. That there's another way. So, yeah. That's a thing. Forbidden Zone, not as big a place as I kind of was expecting it to be. Uh, I know for a fact that, well, I'm under the impression that we can come back and do other quests later. Oh, what I was going to say was that I found out, um... I actually found out that, uh, if, even if you kill Dr. Mobius, if you come back to this place, the Robo-Scorpions will still spawn and they will uh, continue to have recordings of his voice. Because they're basically an enemy, and that's how the enemy... Uh, that's how they work, so... So now if I switch to field research, we have new locations to go to for that side quest. Nevertheless, man, you know, I want to end the session, but I'm so close to any of the DLC, I'm really curious about how it ends. But I also know we've still got side questing to do that I'm kind of inclined to take care of all in one go. Like, the fact that we can return to this area after the DLC is open doesn't, over doesn't mean I necessarily feel compelled to, except that I'll do, like, inventory runs. Maybe I'll quick end this video by... Because we have to go, I believe we have to go into the room with the brains in it to trigger the rest. That we can, I believe we can bounce around back and forth as much as our little hearts desire. Uh, just in the sink. Based on the other tanks in the room, you can safely assume that your brain will be floating, okay? This is the original heart. Your new heart seems to be working just fine, thanks to the 
information planted by your own brain, you're now able to put your original heart back in place by using the sinks auto dock. Oh, that's right, I have to use the auto dock. I forgot. And I want to do that anyway because I jumped. Well, hold on, let's talk to you real quick before we call it a video. Got any more sweet, innocent little kitchen appliances for me? I did pick up a couple. Well, well. What have we got here? Another innocent little toaster. Come here. I won't hurt you. Ha! Gotcha! Oh, yes. The sweet smell of spilled electric guts. The sparking diodes. I fucking live for this! Process toasters and appliances. And I get fusions, microfusion cells, energy cells. Where did you go? I'm, oh. No, oh, please, please! Take whatever you want. Oh, sweet, sweet! Process mugs and dishes. Oh, please, please! Tell me. Electronic components. Okay. Sure. He gives you. See, he gives you more shit than the toaster does. As far as ammo goes, and the toaster actually requires you to, like, give it toasters. Then again, it can give you the superheated Saturnite fist, which I guess if you're doing a uh, unarmed run is a, probably a pretty high-end weapon. And now I'm like, oh god. I... Oh, I gotta deal with... I gotta try to remember to deal with some inventory stuff off-camera, but... You require some... I like to get your. I feel a little mad. I like to get your services. Swap body parts. Select an organ to replace. Place your heart back in your chest. Cardiac arrest perk. Your heart is back in your body, but some advanced technologies remain. You are less resistant to poison, and robots are only somewhat confused by you now. But on the bright side, healing items are twice as effective. So I guess I could take it back out. Is you that even a thing I could do? I could swap your heart for synthetic. I got gotcha. you. Reinforced spine perk. Your spine's back in your body, but some advanced technologies remain. Your torso can now be crippled again. But your strength and damage threshold bonuses have doubled. Alright, there you go. That's not bad. Can't complain about that, right? You require some additional. Okay, just get a regular old physical. And that means they're not just comics, they're peeping tops. I'm now completely healthy. And, uh. How's my, uh. How's my, uh. Ray is probably completely wrecked. Oh no, it's not. I guess it's not. Patience gown. Scientist scrubs. I actually found more of. Yeah, I know I've got more of those stored away for safety, safekeeping. So there you go, folks. Um, I can't say for certain, but I believe that next time, because I'm calling it a session, uh, it's really tempting to go on and finish, but I got other. I, I really shouldn't take the time right now so uh i'm gonna call it and um that means that next time i'll be starting a new session which means to be a lot more inclined um sorry if you're getting really impatient to see this end i'll be much more inclined to finish the side quests if i'm doing a whole new session rather than just oh squeeze in one more video so next time folks we're probably going to um try to figure out uh the last few upgrades for sync components i mean it's i'm not going to get a whole lot of use out of them it's just a thing to do for you know, as, be as completionist as I can be. I, I guess I'm drawing the line between um, being a completionist, partial completionist. I'm drawing the line personally between going around and searching for the last ten locations on the big MT that haven't come up yet, although two of them are probably going to come up as part of this quest, at least. But I'm drawing the line there between, um, you know, whether or not I'm this uber completionist of this thing is, yeah, I'm going to finish these quests these side quests. I'm not going to um, seek out other places, other stories, other rooms, other voices, other rooms, whatever the phrase was. Uh, yeah. But this is the end of the session, so um, I think we dealt with uh, Movius in the best way. As you could see, we could kill him. 
probably different dialogues or uh, options are available uh, with the think tank brains if we kill him. Although maybe the same ones are there. He, he encouraged us to lie about it if that was going to help. But, um, you know, we could have killed him. I, di I got killed by the Robo Scorpions he summoned because I didn't start popping stim packs, but I could have. And I defeated him. So, uh, yeah, that was definitely an option. But I think talking to Mobius and finding out that he set this whole thing up to keep the think tank brains from getting out into the wasteland and ruining the place because they're basically insane scientists with uh, crazy technology. Um, yeah. I also, I tend to think that they won't summon minions, I suppose, but he says that they have weapons, and uh, we would be fighting all of them at once, I think, if we went hostile. So maybe just for funsies, we'll try it out, but it's probably a good idea also not to, you know, try to kill them. <laughs> See if we can uh, peacefully schmooze our way through this. Whatever we do, we'll start doing it next time. I'm the Mysterious GG. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Bye -bye.